All right, Brian Bush, Field Agronomist for Pioneer, covering Central and Southern Indiana. I have Michaela Peters with me here today, and we're out in soybean fields because we're getting several reports of discolored soybeans showing up in the grain tank. So you can see we've got some issues here where the pods have popped open here, probably from the rains we had two weeks ago. The seed swelled up, and when that happens, the inside of the beans here, they are just moldy and rotten. Now the little culprit here is right on my finger. That's our old friend, the old stink bug. So can't get him in focus there though. So the stink bug piercing through those pods, creating an opening there for those, uh, for those punch out to get in there. We're also finding situations like this where the beans have popped open here. Some of them as well, we're finding grasshopper feeding at the top of these, like on the sides here. You can see that. So we've got issues where grasshoppers are opening up those pods. Anything that gets inside that pod can allow those beans to take off here. Another thing too, so even if the beans look nice and healthy, Michaela's got a handful here. We can look at the side here. You see those black specks on those pods, but when we open those up, a lot of times what we're finding is here, um, the beans on the inside are discolored. This is most likely frog eye leaf spot. And we're gonna be sending off samples today uh, to a lab to confirm that's what's going on here, but history tells us that's probably what it is. It was a bad year this year for frog eye leaf spot and gray leaf spot in corn for that matter. Those are kind of similar fungi. Um, so as a result here, we're finding a lot more of these disease taking off. Guys that planted more tolerant varieties to, to frog eye leaf spot are seeing less damage. Guys that sprayed a fungicide and insecticide at R3 are also seeing less damage here. But those aren't absolutes. It's not like you sprayed it and it's completely safe and no issues at all here. So I hope that kind of helps you understand what's going on here. Um, and this is not a, we just walked out here into the field trying to find problems going on here and it's not too hard to find these unfortunately. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.